page 40 is so pretty, but if you count it wrong, it's gonna be so awkward. We hear a lot about playing slow pieces with expression, with feeling. We say we want them to be musical, and that's true. But if you don't count correctly, you end up creating some sort of abstract art. And this is not abstract art. This art has to have some form to it. So the thing you need to know about number 20 on page 40 is that you have to count in eighth notes. We are doing that on page 27 as well, number eight. Um, in fact, we're gonna do that on several of our all region pieces this year. So you have to be very comfortable with it. Um, in this one, there are a lot of different rhythmic patterns. So we're gonna go over just a couple of them. So the basis of this, the basics of counting in eighth notes. Our first fact, an eighth note is one beat. A quarter note is two beats. And just within that first two measures, you actually see quite a combination of rhythmic values. Um, in the second measure, we have 16th notes. Well, those will work like eighth notes. You see a dotted eighth note. That's a beat and a half. So figure each one of these out. The basic rule of thumb for counting eighth notes is that your note is worth twice as much as it normally is worth. Normally an eighth note is half a beat, now it's one beat. So you have to be really comfortable with that and you need to practice that. And if you need to write down a little cheat sheet, do, but make sure you do it for every single rhythmic value in here. So just looking at the first two measures, we'll count through those together. So we have, like I said, at the beginning, we have a dotted eighth note and then a 16th note. And then the next four beats, easy. They're all eighth notes, so just one, two, three, four for those. Uh, let's see here. In the second measure, we start off with an F sharp that is a dotted quarter note. Okay, so a dot makes me 50% bigger. So if I had a dot next to me, I would be 1.5 Jennies or 1.5 Professor Hudson's, however you prefer. Um, and Let's see, since it's a dot on a quarter note, a quarter note is worth two, I need to make it 50% bigger. My dotted quarter note is worth three. So here is the counting for the first two measures. All right, here's our rhythm, our beat, excuse me. Ready? One and three, four, five, six. One, four and five. And you've got to be able to do that for the whole thing. The other difficulty in this piece of music, the other challenge, is our trills and our grace notes. So the first one that we come across is at the end of line three, and we are trilling a C. We start off with a grace note right before, we have a grace note at the end, and we're going to make sure we place them precisely within the rhythm. Grace notes have to take up some time too, so we just have to figure out what time are they gonna take up. So I'm starting off with a half note. That C, that trilled C is a half note. So that is gonna be worth twice as much as normal. Normally a half note is worth two, now it's worth four. One, two, three, four. All right, this is a pretty slow piece, so I'm gonna give my grace notes kind of a generous amount of time. You can choose to do, how, do this however you want. You can count this however you'd like to count it. But this is how I play this particular trill. So that grace note, that D, I'm gonna do that right on beat three, and I'm gonna give it an entire count. So I'm going to go three, four, three, four. The grace note, the D, is going to be on three, and you're gonna go on to that C on beat four. And I'm gonna trill four, five, six, and then those grace notes at the end, I'm gonna put on the and of six. So it ends up going like this. Grace note, C, grace note one. D, trill, and a one. Sounds like this. And if you're wondering how to trill it, you trill it by holding a C, you're gonna finger a C, and you're gonna use your middle finger to hit this first trill key. So it's the trill key that's immediately to the left of your middle finger. The other rhythm that I wanna make sure that you're really comfortable with is at the end of the next to last line. And it's where you see a little six over 16th notes. 
So that little six means that they're going to cram six notes in where four, no uh, four notes normally would have gone. So those are basically gonna work like triplets. So here's how that measure, that sforzando measure at the end of the next to last line is going to go. So we've got a quarter note, which you remember gets two counts. And then we have six notes across the value of four notes. So those six 16th notes are gonna take up two beats also. And then we've got a quarter note at the end and that will also take up two beats. So like this, one, two, three lolly, four lolly, five, six. Good luck with this, make it beautiful, but even more important, count it correctly. <laughs>